Hello, uh, this is a video tutorial showing you how to fix your crappy Xbox 360 three bread rings of death. Um, it's kind of an X clamp fix, but it's not at the same time. Um, meaning that you do take the X clamps off, but then you replace them with something that is much, much uh, easier to get a hold of. You don't have to get screws and washers and crap and pliers and ply these knobbly bits off the things, you don't have to do that. All you need is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bolts that big, just so they fit around the uh, the holes uh, where the heat sinks fit in. And um, I'll be showing you how to do this in a minute, but they sit on these four holes here. One, two, three, four. Um, and basically it just stops the motherboard from flexing. Um, okay, so I've already taken my Xbox apart um, down to the motherboard and what you're gonna need is some toilet roll or toilet paper or just any kind of tissue paper. Roll it up and you need some of this. You need to get hold of some uh, CPU heatsink cleaner thing stuff, it's, it's just basically alcohol rub uh, to get rid of all the gunk from the heat sinks and uh, chips on the motherboard, so I'm just going to give that a wipe and get rid of the gunk that's on that you can see all the crap that's coming off that roll it over again put a little bit more on rubbing it off I'll try and do this as quickly as possible just for you guys because I know you don't want to be sitting here for hours on end trying to figure out how to do this but this is the best way and the cheapest way of fixing your free red rings <laughs> This is actually what my friend showed me. Uh, he works in GameStation, and um, they buy and sell Xbox 360s as well. And um, the ones they buy, if they've got the free red rings, obviously they give you less money. And then this is exactly what they do to go and fix them. They resell them again. And they make like 35% on top of that from what they buy it from. <laughs> Sorry if the sound is a bit laggy with the the video. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out but <laughs> we'll give it a go. Okay so <laughs> that's all off. Nice and shiny. I'll just show you that to the camera. You see the reflection on the two chips either side. Nice and shiny. Okay, and then you want to flip it over. I mean, I've already taken my X clamps off, which are here. These douchebags um, took those off. They will kill your Xbox. Um, they're really easy to open. You just these clips will be on, and literally you just get a screwdriver in the middle of one of these holes, and you slowly pry it like that. And once you've got two sides off then the other two sides will come straight off and do the same for two and then also I took the crappy sticky things off that were sitting on these four chips here um, because they're useless and they're just complete waste of time don't know why Xbox put them there really but anyway <laughs> Microsoft even so once you've done that um, you want to Oh, sorry, you need to uh, clean your heat sinks as well. Just very quickly using the same alcohol rub. Just a bit of tissue paper. Clean these off. Now, I, ha I haven't fixed this Xbox yet, so I don't know if this will work first time. I'm hoping it will. Um, avoided the warranty today because I'm not paying. Microsoft to uh, take it and then try and repair it because I'd rather do it myself. 
for far less money. I mean, the the heatsink cleaner probably cost me three pound, <laughs> <coughs> and the bolts didn't cost me anything because I just had them knocking around in the shed. Right, okay, so that's all clean. Um, now, the next thing you want to do is. Um, Face plate, not face plate, your uh, bottom plate which the motherboard goes in. You want to lay that down. Now with these four bolts, you want to place over the holes where the X clamps were. Just carefully making sure that they're pretty centered whilst doing this. So it should look something like that. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That one just moved. Where'd it go? Oh. Put it back there. So that's done. Now what you want to do is get your motherboard and put it back on slowly, making sure you're not gonna move those four bolts down and then you should be able to look straight through the holes and see that um, you can see straight through and they should be straight on there and it won't flex the motherboard and also it will give the exact gap underneath of um, <coughs> the amount of space that you should give for the air to go under and stuff the heat even Right, okay, so once that's done, you need to make sure that you've got some thermal compound. Um, this is Antec Formula 5, and I've also got a Kesa Silver Base Thermal Compound. They both do the, exactly the same, I, I just prefer to use the smaller tube. So, just dab it. You don't, you don't want to put too much on the chips. Just enough. If you put too much on, then it won't work because it won't be transferring the heat onto the heat sinks properly. You just want a little dab on. And now what you want to do is you want to get something like a scalpel or a knife. Um, not actually cutting into anything but this straight edge here that's what I'll be using to spread it with. So I'm not actually I'm not slicing it I'm just I'm just uh, spreading it so that it's got an even amount on the chips so I'm just doing that now try not to get it all over your motherboard either you don't want any, uh, any thermal compound where you don't need it you just want it on the shiny bits of the chips Nearly done. Just trying to get everything evenly on there. Nice thin layer. Okay. That's all done. Clean that off. And it should look. Oh crap. Like I said before, try not to move the motherboard about because the bolts underneath will move until you put those heat sinks on. So if that does happen, just lift the motherboard up and put them back over the holes again. This is, I, I've done the penny trick in the past, not on this one, on different machines that my friends have uh, given me. And uh, it works for a while, but this one has worked the longest. I've done this on my other console that I'm using at the moment. Okay, so put that back down, they're all making sure they're in place, and once you spread the, can't really show you how, I've sp how it's spread, but it's a very thin layer, just covering it all. 